Hey guys, Mad Rat Dead here, and today we're gonna be going over oh, my, all these games. Oh jeez, I don't wanna. I mean, I think this is gonna be the last not clickbait video because that's all. It's all the games. That's it. Nothing else except the new games I get, but yeah. I just realized I forgot. <laughs> Game Boy Advance. Uh, Rhythm Heaven. Uh, I don't even know where the cartridge went. So, uh, really fun game, to be honest. But Rhythm Heaven DS, I think, is better. It's the first one in the series, though. That's that. Uh, Pokemon Soul Silver Big Chungus $1 million version. Uh, I had the Poke Walker. I don't know where it went. But yeah. Uh, really good pokemon game i would say that it's a remake of silver originally on the game boy color and it is a really quality one at that um i think it was like one of my first pokemon games to be honest like other than pearl like the actual one that i remember i still have my safe out today and i have like a ton of shiny pokemon because i hacked them in kirby mass attack <clears throat> I like it. It uh, some people don't like it. Uh, I like it. It's fun. It's not Kirby, <laughs> not per se, but it's fun. It has a lot of mini games and stuff as you have in a Kirby game. But as you'll see, the next game on this list is probably gonna be even better. So, Picross 3D. Um, this game. Oh wow, we. Golly G, 20 bucks. <laughs> um, this game is really good. Like, you can make your own block puzzles and stuff. Like, wow. And, uh, two to five players. Some other game can't do that. But yeah, pretty good game. My Pony Paradise. I, 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 why do we even have this? Why do I even have that? Okay, uh, Professor Lane in the Diabolical Box, um, just go watch E-Man Dan 64 2s video about this game, uh, it, it's probably the same sentiments, except I like Diabolical Box a tiny bit more than Unwound Future, because Diabolical Box is my first one, and ha ha ha, stinky, even though Unwound Future has the better story. Unwound Future is freaking awesome, go play it right now, you libtard, if you haven't played it, you suck. You smell like cheese. Core blimey. Uh, Rhythm Heaven. Dun, 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 dun. This is actually not the first Rhythm Heaven game. Wowie. Um, it's probably one of my, probably one of my favorite, if not the best, game in the series. Cause it's awesome, and the Bennett games are the best. Fight me. Um, main, main dude. Lots of GameStop stuff. So. Um, Harvest Moon, ha Harv Moo, or Harve Moo, if you count that tiny slice of the E, uh, DS is actually pretty fun. Uh, you know, it's just like a farming Harvest Moon game. You just run around, plant plants. It kind of is confusing on what to do sometimes. I had like look up a guy to get all the sprites because some of the stuff is super obscure and they don't tell you anything. And the translation isn't too good, but it's still pretty fun. WarioWare DIY. Now, I actually really like this game <clears throat> because you can make your own mini games. And it's like actually pretty complicated and pretty cool and pretty intuitive. Uh, they also have a music maker like uh, Mario Paint. This is pretty much just a, a better Mario Paint like evolution of it. And they also have a comic book maker, which is pretty cool. Uh, I used to play it a whole ton. You can also send the games up to your TV through uh, like there's this Wii. Thing that lets you download the games and put them on your TV, and it's pretty cool. Uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass is a pretty, it's a pretty cool game. It's actually a sequel to Wind Waker, if you guys do not know that. Um, it is, it is pretty fun. It is pretty cool. 
and it is very underrated, I would say, for Zelda games. Unless I, I mean, I don't really go for Zelda game scores. Pokemon Black, I just actually finished this game or played through all of it recently, and it is, it is probably one of the best Pokemon games, you know. Um, I haven't really done much of Black 2 or White 2 or whichever one I have, but this game is pretty fun. It's pretty good. I liked it. Um, I'm not a huge... I used to be huge for Pokemon. I'm not too huge now. Because there's this stuff out here, which is totally way better than Pokemon. I mean, yeah. Okay, so then we have freaking... Jackson Trap... Tycho Drum Master... Dororon Yokai Daikessen, or Taiko no Tetsujin, DS, Dororon Yokai Daikessen, whatever. Um, it's a, it's a, the, 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 the Taiko game for the DS, and it's pretty good. I like Taiko games, I like rhythm games, they're fun. Comes with two styluses, so that's pretty cool. And I got it CIB for like 20 bucks, and I think that's pretty good. And there's also like this RPG kind of thing where you go around the world and fight stuff. It's pretty fun. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, Pokemon Sun. It's probably the best 3DS Pokemon game. I mean, just get Ultra Sun though. Don't worry, you're at it. I mean, I think that's just better. I don't really. I don't, have, I don't play it. I haven't played it. I don't even own it. That's why I kind of slow down. I'm like, wait a minute. Ultra Sun's just like Sun, but like, you know. Uh, I'm at like the, I stuck, I've been stuck at like the Elite Four or whatever for like, a, like, five, four, three, four, three years. I haven't done anything about that. Uh, the OK Watch 2 is for Psychic Specters. I have not played this. Uh, where is it? Uh, graphic design is my passion on that font. Um, uh, now, Persona Q. I like how the, 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 the thingy. The spine is like different, but like, and then there's that because it's like a later game. But Persona Q: Shadow of the Labyrinth. I have many, many gripes with this freaking game. I'll probably do a video on this, but I, I, I spent like seventy hours on this freaking game, and oh my gosh, look at that font. The heroes of, jeez. Try here. Who cares? It's a good game, but it's also kind of chunky. Oh well, I'll go, I'll make a video about it later. I'll keep this out. Kicks is going in that pile too. Uh, Professor Lane versus Phoenix Wright. Now I actually really like this game. It was pretty good. The music was pretty good. Um, it's really fan service so if you don't, you're not into either of the series and probably don't play this, but I really liked it. It was pretty cool, you know. Wow! Oh my gosh! They're next to each other. Oy, oy. But it's a, it's pretty good. It's a pretty serviceable, serviceable game. Even though everything's you know non canon or whatever. Mario and Linguini Dream Team. Now, this Gia Five over here, um, or I mean, Tasma. Uh, that's a, that's a final boss, and it's at the start of the game, and it has the same attack patterns. But anyways, um, this game is actually, I don't know, people kind of underrate it, but it is a pretty good game. Like, <clears throat> probably under Superstar La Saga, even though I haven't really played it, but Cow Quack's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's the best one! So I guess it's gotta be pretty good. But then, uh, you know... Uh, Bowser's Inside Story, which is up here. I don't know why it's up here. Um, that's probably the best one. I'll go over these after I'm done with this video. is going to be like 20 years long. But the soundtrack in this game is pretty hot. Um, the game kind of drags on for a while, but and the pacing is kind of meh, but it's a pretty good game. I like it. I enjoyed it. It's enjoyable. It's fun. Uh, Mario Party Island Tour, it's fun, maybe, 
I don't know. People don't like it for some reason. I think it's okay. Um, Mega Man Legacy Collection. Um, it's Mega Man 1 through 6. If you like Mega Man 1 through 6, then you like this game. Uh, I have to like, hold all these back because I keep falling all over the place. Okay. Zelda Triforce Heroes. Um, this is a pretty good multiplayer game if you have three copies of the game, three 3DSs, or and three friends. There you go. Triforce Heroes Unite. Uh, 32 dungeons. Replay your favorites. Was that 30? Only 32? Uh, uh, it's pretty fun. That's it. It's not four swords. Four Swords temperatures. I'm just gonna take the rest of the games out. Alright, there we go. Okay, so. Right. Come on. There we go. Pokemon X. Uh, Pokemon Masters X. Um, pretty goo, pretty cool. Uh, I mean, Sun's, of course, better, but I still like X a little. I mean, it's not bad. It's a good game. I like Xerneas, and the moon, and the fairy types, and the X stuff. The Mega Evolutions. These are cool. Super Mario 3D Land, I think this is a very underrated uh, 3D Mario 3D game. Um, or Mario 3D platformer. Uh, it's pretty good, and there's a ton, there's like, you know, halfway through the game, or when you finish the game, the game just doubles in size, which is pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty good launch title. Uh, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. It's just a worse version of Wii U, except this has one of the best Smash like party modes, I guess. It's better than Smash Tour. It's like that Smash Run. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Why don't they bring it back? It's like City Tour, which is awesome. Uh, Sticker Star. It's bad. Okay. Hold on, I need to readjust. Oh, Teddy. Okay. So, if you're wondering, why did you go to one row? Hold on. Not the other row. Well, because, you know, I don't know what that is going on. Hold on. There we go. Uh. Because these games don't have the cartridges in them, and these do, so half of these games, I don't know where they're at. That's cool, or I lent them away or something, or some people have them, and they're borrowing them at the moment, but... Anyway, Scribblenauts. Fun. Cool, you could make stuff by just writing in the word, and then you can make naked people. It's pretty fun. Uh, Bakugan, this game's actually pretty fun. I remember playing it as a kid, but nothing else. I don't know where the game is. I lost it, probably, but I have the case. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Mini Land Mayhem. I actually like this game. Uh, it's, uh, I like using the stage creator and stuff. Um, I, I liked it as a kid. I mean, it's probably not as good right now, but, you know. Um, pretty good puzzle game. Uh, Mario Kart DS, it's okay. I like, like home console ones, you know Mario Kart is kind of defensible. This game is crap. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies on DS. I actually wish I had this game still because there was like a versus mode that was pretty fun when a person was a zombie and I really want to get the game back but I don't know where it is. Two copies of Pokemon Pearl. Um, it's okay I guess. I haven't played it in a million years. I don't even remember how the game goes. Uh, Pokemon Heart Gold. I played Soul Silver. It's like the other version. What do you do? Um, Mario Super Mario 64 DS has all those mini games, which is pretty much the only thing differentiating from it. From the other one, you could play as Wario, Yoshi, and Luigi, which is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, Super Scribble Knots. You could add adjectives. Wow. Wowie. Uh, pretty cool game. I really like it. Um, Animal Cro- I mean, it's okay. It's not like anything mind-blowing. But, you know. Animal Crossing New Leaf, probably one of the best animal- I mean, there's not- oh my gosh, what am I saying? It's a good Animal Crossing game. There's like- New Horizons is a- I'd say New Leaf is better than New Horizons, I would say that. 
or wait new horizons new leaf why, why are they saying new is it new horizons i think so oh well uh i like the original best because <laughs> but new leaf is second best uh art academy never played it pokemon alpha sapphire pretty good game it's like sapphire but way better uh pokemon moon it is like sun but different Super Smash Bros. 3DS, I have a second copy. Totem Tomodachi Life, I actually really like this game and I used to play it a whole ton. Except someone has it. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds, really fun Zelda game. It is like Link to the Past, except better. Okay. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Alright. It's almost over. We're at 15 minutes and 40 Oh my gosh. Alright, now to the good games. <laughs> Professor Lane the Curious Village. Good game. Hold on. Sorry. Good game. Good game. Really good game. It's Professor Lane, except it's the worst one, so it's a shisa game, except I haven't played uh, the, the most recent, or the, actually, Catriel's Mystery Journey. It's probably the worst one, but I haven't played uh, Azran Legacy or, uh, uh, the Miracle Mask one. Uh, Sonic Rush, really good, underrated DS game. Uh, the soundtrack is a bop, and it's fun gameplay, fun quick. Sonicy, and has a good 2D taste. Platform, good. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, probably the best Mario and Luigi, or is the Mario best Mario and Luigi <coughs> game out there. Uh, yeah. I uh, like the badges. And you get to be Bowser, and there's all this cool stuff. And it's, yeah. Star Fox 64 3DS. It's Star Fox 64, but on the 3DS. Star Fox 64 is also a pretty good game. I really like it. It's a like, really fun, like, arcade kind of shooter. There's multiple branches and stuff. Mario Party DS. Um, I don't know if it works, but. Uh, cool, cool DS game. It's a, a, one of the. I'm gonna say one of the best again. Is a good the is a good Mario Party game. Pokemon White 2. I have not played too much. Jeez, I'm finally done. It's about freaking time. Whoa. Okay, so One Piece collection number one. Come on, it's pretty good.